Demos, let me bring you over to my Bloomberg terminal. Sometimes the Bloomberg surprises you. I was looking for odds, and actually we've changed the graphic if you type EU TV Go to give you polls, which is probably even more telling about what we're facing. Now, this is a polls for the first round of the election. You can see Le Pen 26, well above, and it's only for the first round, but actually well above Emmanuel Macron here in a pink and then Fillon in white. Um, how will the markets play all of this out? Do, do, do yields widen between Germany and France because they're worried about a Le Pen possibly? presidency? Well, absolutely. We have seen this uh, shift. Uh, basically, for the last few weeks, uh, investors are trying to find ways to hedge uh, that risk. It started off with people uh, thinking about higher yields in France. You know, even in a good scenario, you have higher yields. Even in a bad scenario, you have high yields in France. Then it moved on to people starting to think of higher front-end rates and a flatter curve in France versus Germany. Uh, front-end gets very vulnerable whenever you have systemic episodes like that. And then, you know, if, thing, if pressures intensify, you could see pressures even in the bro broadening out in the periphery in other countries as well, more existential pressures. Basically. Right, but, uh, so first of all, what is the real chance of Marine Le Pen becoming president? Right? Well, and if, if it does, what does it mean for Euro the next day? I think the main, the main hypothesis here is that... Uh, uh, in the second round against uh, a centrist candidate, uh, she has a certain ceiling in how many votes she will, uh, she will gather, and the odds are that the centrist candidate uh, prevails. Obviously, the polls are not showing that this is impossible, which is making markets quite nervous, and obviously there's always the chance of a mistake we, we saw, or, or, or a uh, volatility, an unforeseen event. We saw on Friday that the presumption that there could be some kind of deal between Amon and Melanchon shook markets quite a bit yeah. as an unexpected kind of twist to the story. Um, Chris, talk to me about French banks. Are they completely immune to political risk? So we charted up BNP using the BNP green. Maybe it's a, it's a shade <laughs> darker than what I used. And this is the top one. And then Société Générale in red is the bottom. Look, I, I think that the, the French banks actually, we've talked earlier about the restructuring of the European banking sector. The French banks actually addressed this a little bit earlier yeah. than a lot of their peer group. Um, they had a lot of deleveraging in 2011 and 2012 when they realised they weren't actually very much in line with the new bar rules. And they've been disposing of businesses in Greece and some of their, their Eastern European businesses. They're very strong universal banks now with strong domestic businesses. You know, if we have an election result which is unexpected, just as we saw with Brexit and Lloyds Bank, uh, you know, regardless of the quality of these banks, you know, we're going to see quite a, quite a dip, certainly, on the news. Uh, Demos, do you see parity with the dollar? Um, we think it's uh, not the most likely scenario. Uh, even if you get very difficult kind of outcomes out of uh, French elections, uh, because of the exact same gap you showed, Francine, with U.S. yields being too high, you have, you know, what the market will do is we will revisit all these assumptions about Fed tightening, sort of like acceleration of growth, global recovery, and that would put the dollar on the back foot. So declining U.S. yields will offset the dollar uh, trend. But bond market will be a lot more volatile than the FX market. What would need to happen very quickly for it to reach parity, for you to change your model? Well, obviously, you need to have things moving into a case where you have existential risk for the euro, you have uh, you know, Le Pen coming in as a president, and you obviously have situations in, uh, after Le Pen with respect to the National Assembly vote uh, that, that make that even more likely.